Bad news for international students. In today's video update, we will discuss about worries of international students, about unaffordable course withdrawal from Canadian universities. Due to college rules and visa processing delays, international students enrolled in Canadian universities have stated that they are unable to withdraw from their courses and receive reimbursements. Students utilizing the Fast Track Study Permit, Student Direct Stream were expected to pay for a full year of study upfront, as well as a $10,000 Canadian dollars guaranteed investment certificate, as part of their study visa applications. However, some of these students have been waiting for their applications to be processed, for an extended length of time, including one who has been waiting since March 2020. A number of students have complained that, they are unable to withdraw their applications, reapply, or apply to other countries, since their schools demand an IRCC student visa refusal. If students withdraw without this, their universities withhold huge sums of money, which the students claim they cannot pay. They also added that, they are stranded since their applications are not being denied or approved, making affordable refunds impossible. One online student at Hanson College in Ontario said that, he has completed two semesters, and if he tried to withdraw, he would not be refunded the fees for two semesters, which is 16000 He also added that, if his visa application is denied, he will be refunded $500 less than the offer letter cost, and labor fees. He has submitted his application in October 2020, and have yet to receive an answer from IRCC. According to the student, IRCC is processing more current applications, and his application has been caught in a backlog. The student further explained, so, if I tried to abandon my application, and reapply to the same institution to get out of the backlog, I wouldn't get my refund. Other students said that, they had been waiting for IRCC to respond to questions, about their visa applications for a long period. One student has applied for a student visa to Canada in March 2020, and many students including him, have been waiting for a long time. He stated that, the IRCC is not taking them seriously. They are delivering results to fresh files, rather than old files, he added. Another student stated that, the visa delays will prohibit him, from transferring to another country's college. If my visa is denied, I will receive a refund, but my institution will deduct $250, said the student, who attends Mohawk College, in Hamilton, Ontario. However, if I grow tired of waiting and wish to apply in the UK, the US, or any other nation in the globe, they will deduct $2,200, and give me the remaining sum in more than 60 days. When asked if he could afford such a deduction, the student stated that, he couldn't and that it would put his family in financial jeopardy. According to a spokesman for the college, Mohawk College has accommodated overseas students, who have begun their courses remotely, while their visa is being processed from the beginning of the epidemic. They gave material indicating that, if a student withdraws prior to the 10th of October, they will only be charged a $250 cost. If a student withdraws between the 10th of October and the 11th of December, their reimbursement will be reduced by $2,200. They will not be entitled to a refund of any costs, after the 11th of December 2021. According to the spokesman, students who are studying under this pending visa approval status, are given a special refund mechanism, which they will get as an attestation, throughout the admissions process. In case a student's visa application is refused, this refund method will allow them to get a refund of their fees, minus obligatory non-refundable costs, for the remainder of the semester. The spokesman further stated that, when students get a decision on their application, they must notify their services staff, so that the withdrawal procedure may begin. Before any reimbursements can be handled, the student must submit further documents, confirming their wish to withdraw.
This is the end of today's video update. If you found this video update useful, then please hit the like button and press subscribe button, so you don't miss any updates on our channel. Thanks for watching today's video update.